all these narratives. You notice how they're, they, like, they come and go, but they're always the same version of the same thing, the pivot? Hmm. I had a client yesterday say, actually more than one client, can you define what a pivot is? <laughs> I said, well, uh, it could be one of three things. A pivot is a pivot. Pivot. One, they cut interest rates. This is my preferred definition of pivot. Okay? Two, they raise less. That's the current pivot. Okay. Three, they don't raise at all. They stop. Stop. Okay. What I'm saying with DeSantis and, and, um, and P.E. Powell is that this and this is already priced into the market. You're going to raise November, December, February. Then you're going to stop. Now go back to my doodles. Nowhere in that chart, by the way, does it say that the market expects a cut. That would be a pivot. Okay? These two things, in other words, are fully priced in. Now, if they raise by more, holy shit. That's going to be a problem. If they don't stop, that's a huge problem. Again, you're raising interest rates into quad four, which is, going to, which is obviously already you know, sent the U.S. economy into a recession, uh, which won't be reported tomorrow. They're going to call it a non-recession. So again, just think it through. We have created an entire country and capital market system, for that matter, that is based on cowbell. It's based on cowbell. <laughs> stop. And none of that, or stop and then raise, which actually Powell said the other day that he could easily do if inflation started to go up again, which when you do stop, oil price go to 120, inflation goes from five back to seven, what do you think he's going to want to do? What is, what is DeSantis going to tell him to do? You know, DeSantis wants to debate guys like that bald guy in Pennsylvania. He wants to debate the establishment. I'm not making a pitch for Republicans. Democrats and Republicans have one thing in common, control, print, cowbell. If that changes, that changes the next, like, however many years to a very different investing landscape than anything you've seen, um, again, going back to when all this started. So I think that that's the most important thing to think about, as opposed to constantly waking up with panic-stricken behavior on pivots. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.